when mother nature strikes even the well-known hiking trails can turn into deadly survival situation where you are left alone for days to survive today i'm taking my stake on one of the brutal terrains in indian western guides i'm andy j and you're watching hikers survival show It was May 28th of 2008 when three hikers ventured into a similar forest and they were lost. These hikers were lost in this wilderness for months without food. They might have experienced heavy rainfall, windstorm, and uh, dense fog, especially in monsoon. It's really uh, okay. This is cool. Check out this, guys. Check out this. This is wild pigs have been digging here for roots. So that's a cool find, and it's uh, good to know that we have uh, wild pigs here. Indian wild boar, adult males can inflict serious injuries in case of an attack. That's awesome, man. Making marks on the trees is still being used by some of the local tribes in India. Having a machete while moving through rainforest can be a difference between life and death. Heavy rainfall and dense fog. These elements can even make professionals go crazy. And they are nowhere to be found. All right, so whenever you are going into a forest or like any thick vegetation like this, always remember to make marks on the trees wherever you go like after every 10 meters I say so even if you are lost those marks will guide you back home everywhere there is grass the reason for this is during monsoon it'll be above five or six feet and it will make even more harder to walk and monsoon has ended just a month ago and rainforest is not easy during monsoon snakes and scorpions they come out looking for new shelter and warmth i'm gonna go up so that I can have a better understanding of uh, the surrounding here. And you might think why I'm carrying this. It's not to kill the animals, it's to make way through this dense uh, forest. If you don't have this, a lot of work you have to do to make your way through the forest. So let me keep this inside. And off we go. Always remember to take your time to reach out to the highest point in your surrounding so that you can have a better understanding what's going around you and which direction you should be heading. From here, uh, I can literally see my area. And if you see, it's like somewhat of opening on this side, two peaks, and this is a big peak behind me. So this is a really cool spot. And maybe I can find water on the other side. But uh, I think uh, I'm going to camp back where I came because uh, if you see, that's really flat right there and uh, it's good to make a shelter. So I'm going to find a tree and uh, let's make our shelter. If you see, uh, there are like a lot of uh, bamboos right there. So I'm going to get those one and 
to build our shelter. I can even uh, choose any other tree right here, but uh, bamboos are really strong and they can, there is like a lot of use for the bamboo. There is a dead one right here. Two more and we are good. This is what I've collected so far now. That's looking pretty good, man. So it's just a simple shelter for just one day to stay here. So it's very simple. You take two with Y-shaped sticks Put them together like this and I'm gonna place all the sticks on the sides and I have a shelter for tonight. A-frame shelter with three bamboo sticks supported by a tree can be the easiest and a quickest way to make a shelter to spend a night. So this is how the shelter looks making uh, firewood now and uh, so I need a little bit grass to go under my bed and uh, we're looking good so let's make some fire and uh, get some coffee I got my fire going now so shelter is looking pretty good Got my tea here. That's cool. And I made this uh, weapon. So it's like around six feet. So I got a good enough reach. So if something happens, because there are a lot of uh, bears here and uh, leopards as well. So, and even uh, elephants. It's getting really cold. Leopards slot bears and elephants some of the biggest dangers in this wilderness yeah tomorrow we have a long trek ahead so i'll see you tomorrow good night Good morning guys, so it's time to leave and uh, it's not that really cold today, so yeah, I have to leave this here. Emergency rescue team was set off after a week these hikers were lost. Rescue team searched for these hikers for over a month, but due to Heavy rainfall and dense fog, they had to stop the rescue. After nine months, the skeletal remains of one of the hikers was found almost near to the civilization, and the other two were found 2.5 km away from the first one. Western Ghats is actually uh, in western part of the India. If you get lost, the best way to go, either you have to move uh, to east or west. That's the easiest way I can say, because that's where the civilization is there. So I know that's east because sun is rising over here and that's west. So right now I'm headed towards west and hopefully I'll find a village and from there, I'll go home. They all were recognized by their driving license and ATM cards and one was recognized by a gold chain he was wearing in his neck. Now you can imagine how horrifying is this news for their families. Learning few survival skills can make a difference between life and death. This was my take on one of the rugged terrains of Indian wilderness. I'm Andy J and you're watching Hikers Survival Show. Jai Hind.